Hey. <laughs> Are you going out then for a little walk? Yep, gonna go and see what's out there. Try and stand in the sun. <laughs> Definitely. everyone we're back out and at it so off on our first trip in the bus this is our test it out trip see what shakes see what rattles see what needs changing um, quite a few rattles so far because <laughs> we're up in Scotland and there's lots of little roads but this is where we woke up this morning so Let's see if I can show you where we walk up at Grey Mare's Tail Nature Reserve. had a lovely night's sleep very quiet it's just a, a little car park here um, from National Trust for Scotland and it's pretty level it's three pounds per vehicle and there's nothing to say that you can't stay overnight our ticket did only last from when we got here about eight o'clock last night until midnight but um, we're going to buy another one because there's a little walk that we want to go and do and thought it was well worth it really get back into the swing of things so let's go and have a look oh in the shadows it's still freezing <laughs> very cold but the sun is just over there and uh, that's where i'm headed there is a bit of a trail here and it's got um, a little leaflet telling you everything about the place and the best places to look. And the tiniest birds have been so loud this morning, it's been beautiful, really lovely. Let's, oh, there we go. So that little bridge there is where the road goes along the bottom of the valley. And then up here, this is the stream that comes out of um, Loch Skeen, which is a hanging valley. Apparently, I was reading on the leaflet from the ice age so oh yes much warmer in that sunshine that's lovely been really nice to get back out and uh, just do a bit of driving see some different things you may have seen our Instagram posts that we posted yesterday although this video won't come out for a little while uh, where we were at St Mary's Lock which is only about 10 miles down the road from here <coughs> And uh, it was very quiet, nobody around. But the reflections in the loch were amazing. It was like being in the upside down.
that's lovely. It's very peaceful, very calming. Let's go look at the grey mare's tail. Ooh, nice seating area to view it. I don't think you, you can see very much of it but obviously it comes down in a zigzag so this bit here is hidden and then it comes round and down this way hmm. That morning sun's not very warm but it's much warmer than being in the shadows it's very peaceful. I think today is Wednesday, the 20th of April, just so you know where we are, I think. So we've had Easter, hope everybody had a lovely Easter holidays and uh, we've just spent time with family made homemade pizzas in the pizza oven and I reorganised the back garden now that it's no longer a workspace or a place to put the little blue van because she's gone it's now actually a garden and I'll try and remember to show that when I get back home Lovely being back out. I can feel myself decompressing straight away as soon as we set off yesterday. <clears throat> what today it's going to bring. <sighs> oh, that sun's giving me icky eyes. There's a set of stone steps that start the walk up to Skeen Lock at the top of the waterfall. It's not something that we're going to manage today but I thought I'd just give it a little go just up the steps and see what's around the corner. of the waterfall. 
and round. That's a better view actually of the white mare's tail. These are our neighbours this morning. Just nibbling away. On our drive up yesterday, once we got into Scotland, even in Northumberland, there were so many sets of twins in the lambs. And there were like gangs of five and six little lambs all springing and jumping around and running in the fields. It's really cute. Max having a drink. Hello lovely. You enjoying your holly bobs? Mm. Gotta go get a drink. Huh? <laughs> she says I've got to get in there. It's lovely, isn't it? Very peaceful. The cold was making my eyes water. Yeah. So, until I turned round into the sun and then it blinded yeah, it me. And that's the direction we're heading in when we set off. to Moffat and being greeted by this chap. It's quite amazing. That looks as though it's carved out of one piece of wood, except for this chap here. Maybe not. No, maybe not. Very clever though. <laughs> Hello, lovely boy. Hello, you good lad. <laughs> oh, you having a nice drink? So first full day uh, living in the van today and um, thought we'd try out our Ridge Monkey um, to make a toasted sandwich. So we picked up some uh, chutney from uh, Moffat when we were in Moffat, uh, a real ale chutney and uh, we're cooking a cheese and chutney sandwich, toasted sandwich in the Ridge Monkey. Uh, so looking forward to eating that for our lunch today. Ooh, 
we've just stopped and had some lunch. Some of the lovely toast sandwiches Darren made. <coughs> and we're in a tiny village called Parton. So it's just between Castle Douglas and Eyre and it's on the edge of Loch Kin. And we're following a bit of the Galloway Kite Trail. Oh, that's not gonna blind you. So we found just a little space, a little park up here which is um <laughs> Darren's not praying <laughs> he's setting up the drone <laughs> ah, yeah so um the little park up is lovely it's just where we had our lunch just off the road but lovely and quiet nice and safe and where this huge tree is. I really can't believe the weather today. To say it's April in Scotland. This is beautiful. So We've got a little information board around here. And it's welcome to the Galloway Kite Trail. So we're just having a look, trying to get our bearings. And we're here. We think we're going to move on and have a, there's a parking place here with a viewpoint. So we might be able to see more there. And, uh, that's going to be our next stop but uh, while it was so lovely we just thought we would stop and have our lunch and see what's what that's a lovely old stone still big lorries going by though lovely stone trough Oh, it was actually a fountain from 1902. We may be on the kite trail and we haven't seen any yet. We saw a huge osprey just as we were driving down this road and uh, we've never seen one in real life before. It was huge chasing a couple of crows. So. At least there's one that we can tick off the list. We decided that we would just take the road to Kukudbright, come to the coast. And we're almost there, but then we spotted this little beach and there was a ice cream man. So we had a little ice cream. We found this park up on park for night and I've tried to see if it's suitable but there are lots of new signs up saying that there's no overnight camping so pity really some people must have abused it So we're going to try and find somewhere else. At least we had a chance to have our tea here. So I think you found somewhere, haven't you, Darren? Yeah, I think so. So we're going to pop down the road and see what's there.
I think there's 11 in that clutch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven. You've been busy, missus. Found a spare seat. Yeah, take him there. Look at the beautiful view. <laughs> and actually, it's sheltered by the, from the wind. We've had wind all the way around, yeah, haven't we? Warm here, actually. Well, we had a lot of difficulty trying to find a park up last night. Um, a lot of the ones that are on park for night now have no overnight signs up and a lot of them because we are now bigger a bit too small or we didn't feel quite um, secure using them. So we ended up on a campsite and it was very nice, just a small one. Um, looked out over the sea, but it was sort of just a, a little campsite. Didn't really want to film on there because there were lots of people around and didn't really want to capture anybody who didn't want to be on film. So, we're making our way back home today and um, Darren's just left the fridge open. <laughs> so we're making our way back home today and we have stopped off um, at Talking Tarn which is one of our favourite places uh, for many years and we've had a lovely walk all the way around the Tarn. The Tarn is a lake um, and it's in, near Brampton which is near Carlisle which is in the northwest of England. Um, so yeah, we've had a lovely walk all the way around, but it's always windy here, always windy. Um, warm, but it was windy, so I couldn't really speak on camera, but um, I'll let Darren put together a nice little view of our walk around the town. And then after that, we're going to have a coffee and we're going to make our way home. So. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you are not subscribed and you enjoy what we do, then please consider subscribing. Give us a like because that really helps us and we will see you on the next one. Thank you very much. Bye.